Stuff is an adorable solution to prolong the life of a favorite snack. Hey Sharks, my name is Sean Adler. I'm seeking an investment of $150,000 in exchange for 10% of my company. We've all been there. You come home from the grocery store with fresh bananas, having every intention of eating the whole bunch. But let's be honest with ourselves. Some of those happy yellow bananas are gonna turn brown, sad, and end up in the trash. Yuck. You see, as bananas begin to ripen, they release ethylene gas, a natural ripening agent found in fruits and vegetables. Ethylene gas hates yellow bananas. So we have to slow this absorption at the crown. And that's where my company, Nana Hats, comes in. <laughs> the world's first banana preservation device specifically designed to be functional, reduce food waste, and look super adorable on your kitchen countertop. <laughs> Each of our silicone caps comes retrofitted with a magnet that's meant to be used with any one of our 12 interchangeable hats. So, which one of you sharks wants to join me, the Nana King, as I set out to put a hat on all the bananas across the world? Is it through the top, you're saying, that causes the ripening? So if you cover it, then the ethylene gas is not admitted? No, it's still, it's still emitted, but you're basically slowing the, the spread of the ethylene gas to the other bananas. How long is it extended for? So we make no specific claims as to how many days we can get, because each, each every set of bananas is different. But um, a, a ballpark would be eight to 12 days. Okay, well that's a value. And is that why when sometimes I buy bananas from the store, there's like the, the green um, plastic wrap around the top of them, because the store is trying to preserve it for a little bit longer? Yes, exactly, it's the same method methodology and you know learn I learn new things every day what do you sell it for and what does it cost you to make we sell it in two packs uh, for $12.99 the average cost of our hat with the standard size silicone in the packaging um, is a dollar ninety five so just the the little uh, silicone sock uh, without the magnet would be significantly cheaper right it's correct so why couldn't you put a little smiley face on the sock and call it a day instead of having this yeah, I mean, you no one wants to look at a little sock on your bananas. No offense, Kevin. <laughs> sure, sure. What made you come up with this? Why Nana hats? You know, I got the idea back in 2016. I was just coming home from the grocery store, just thinking of ways to keep my bananas fresh. So I, <laughs> you know, I, I'm telling you. So, <laughs> you know, and I went online and I saw lots of methods, like uh, everything from duct tape to tin foil, and I had inconsistent results. Um, and plus, um, all those methods uh, add to the single use plastics problem in the, in the country. So, What's your job? What you must... uh, I work now as a wealth manager for one of the country's largest investment banks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Uh... I had thought of this in 2016. I said, I'm going to work on this when I have more time. You know, basically 2020 came around, the world stopped. All of a sudden I had a lot more time on my hands. I'm learning to work from home remotely. I assembled the first 15,000 units and launched the company all from the comfort of my living room couch. What's uh, happened since? 2021, but for the full year, we did uh, 483,000. Oh, no! Get out of here! Bananas to the moon, baby! <laughs> You're taking Whoa. me seriously now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So that was last year. What's going to happen this year? We're projecting to do 600 this year, and on the 600, we're going to make 240. Wow. Excellent. What's the breakdown of the sales from retail to uh, direct to customer? Yeah, so 60% uh, of our business is DDC. The other 40% is wholesale. Um, Where are they putting these in retail? We have a few mini novelty gift shops around the country, but 99% of our wholesale sales um, are through one large online gift retailer. Have you tried to talk to any of the grocery chains like Kroger or any of them to see if they were interested? Yeah, I've hammered the pavement. I've been making lots of calls and emails and you know, this is a brand new product. Sean, look, I'm not gonna invest. It's just not a fit for me, but I have to tell you this. Every single person who watched this show has at some time come up with what everybody told them was a crazy idea. But you didn't listen. And you went from what is obviously an insane idea, turned it into a product, sold $600,000 worth, and you were going to put $240,000 in your bank account because you were smart enough and driven and focused enough to follow through with your crazy idea of put hats on bananas. So congratulations. You. <laughs> you know, so congrats. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. 
Sean, um, I just don't think it's a big enough business where you need Before a partner, you go out, though. You know, let's let's first talk about the IP. We have a pending utility patent for a sealed cavity around the crown of the bananas. So banana preservation device. Are there a lot of banana preservation devices? No, we'll, we'll be first. And is, there get a, it. is there a banana preservation society? <laughs> <laughs> if there is, I'm gonna, we, we can join it together. <laughs> All right, so listen, it's there. You don't need a partner for this. I'm out. Sure, thank you. Have you got a full-time job still? I do. So who's running the business? You're looking at uh, the sole employee of the business. And uh, you own it 100%? 100%. My wife helps me a lot, and uh, I'm a brand new father. Uh, Congrats. Of the last Congrats. three weeks. Her name's Gia. Aww. Aww. In the bananas. Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, do you know what? I've been around for a long time, and I've seen some things where we can laugh and have a bit of fun, but sometimes these things go crazy. I really like this product, and I also think it could be one of those products in the Shark Tank that could be really successful. And it's going to take quite a lot of work to make a lot of money. I'm not going to make it easy for you, though, because I'm only going to offer you half of the money. So you're going to have to get another shark on board. I do the other half. You know, Peter's from the UK. I'm USA. I go in with you, and then I think that we would be covering two continents, be right? Globally right. bananas. Glo <laughs> global <laughs> brand for Nana hats. What do you say? What percentage, percentage are you asking for? I would offer you half of the money for 15%. And I would take 15%. Mm. Then, well, we would there's make, another well, shark now here. You're getting Two sharks. I smell a royalty You're deal coming. International and national. So you have hold to on, give up 30%. On. That's very, very, very aggressive. You haven't heard from the fruit fly yet. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I would do this deal for 10%. However, because Mark brought it up, I wasn't even thinking royalty. Yes, at the you beginning, were. <laughs> but I'd like a dollar a unit. Which Aww. actually is not horrible wow. for 10% yeah, versus 30%. Horrible. Wow. There's another way to go here. We could throw Lori under the bus because we don't need her, and Peter and I get together. Oh, and then, then you Peter's get banana a man of yeah. honor. No, no, she slipped on a banana peel. No problem. <laughs> what you didn't know is that the Queen awarded him commander of the British Empire. Commander and a man Jones. Who was commander of the British Empire would never throw a woman yes, under the bus. Yes, he would in two no, seconds. Would not. <laughs> Sean, you I'm too much like of a gent to throw Lori under the bus. Me so under the bus. The would deal, like the deal like with Lori and I is your dream ticket. Take it. That's right. No, you're paying way too much equity. You, you can counter ask also, him, Sean. Ask him how he's going to I'm gonna like, count on the pavement. Would you consider 15% for 150000 What half? Peter, would you go to 20? I, I would do it for 20. 20%? 20%. 150,000. 20%, you get both of us. You guys, you have a deal. Woo! You guys are bananas. <laughs> wow, wow, you're a tall. He is tall. I, I thought I was the tallest <laughs> guy in the room. <laughs> Congrats, Sean. Well done. You know, they were laughing at first, but, you know, once I hit them with the sales and, uh, you know, my vision uh, for the future, they, they seem to be on board. So I, I couldn't be happier to have, you know, Lori and um, Peter as partners, and I, I really think we're going to make Nana Hats a household name. Okay, Lori, walk over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are evil and nasty. Wait, you're not subscribed to the Shark Tank YouTube channel? Well then, for that reason, I'm out.